and take a look at what is potentially happening on Bitcoin. Are we going to get the bounce to the box of peace and prosperity and death and despair? Or are we going to go down to the depths, down to the deep depths, the garbage hole as we know it or not? And if I was going to goose the odds right now, I'd goose the odds in the favor of the bulls for a little bit. Seeing if Ethereum uh, is going to play out the death cross on the hourly time frame. Just a massive, massive couple of green candles here. And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisor Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California. I've got a special guest with us today. His name is Cooper. He is going to give us an analysis today. Just a little... Um, eight week old golden doodle puppy and yep we're not supposed to take him out of the house but for uh today's sake i forgot why he had to come but he's in the office today he's keeping us company he is sure a lot of fun anyways i'm gonna jump into this price action really quick here and take a look at what is potentially happening on bitcoin are we gonna get the bounce to the box of peace and prosperity and death and despair or are we going to go down to the depths, down to the deep depths, the garbage hole as we know it, which is going to be around 36,000. Just looking at this Fib analysis here in bullish markets. And what do you know? We are bouncing pretty, pretty perfectly off this trend line here. Um, Grabbing some liquidity to the upside and the downside. Checking out high block capital here now on uh, Bitcoin. Let's check out Bitcoin here. BTC. The question is bounce first or not? Bounce first or not? And if I was going to goose the odds right now, I'd goose the odds in the favor of the bulls for a little bit of more of a bounce on Bitcoin. And you can see here quite a bit of liquidity hanging out here at about... 42,378 and um, you know maybe one more push down and probably a little uh, bounce to the upside would be my guess here oops would be my guess would be my guest be my guest uh, let's take a look at the ETH Bitcoin pairing here and you can see that uh, Ethereum mounting an assault here flagging out here and we're just looking for that higher low and the higher low trend reversal alongside Bitcoin dominance breaking down below 50%, but it does look like it is uh, trying to put in a bounce here on the daily time frame. So uh, altcoins are getting pretty shafted today. You can see on the board here. Let's check out the uh, crypto bubbles here. And render holding on for dear life. Uh, let's see here. What about on the day? Ah, it's a sea of red out there. Bonks bonking down. Uh, Hex, Cass, I mean, Immutable X, DYDX, they're all taking it on the chin here. And I would suspect uh, that Tia, that Celestia coin, is going to be on the receiving end of a red candle at some point. However, it is holding up fairly well, but I heard there's a token unlock coming, so... Uh, no, no, re no reason to uh, jump the gun on that one. Uh, just, again, wrapping up the Bitcoin analysis here. Uh, we're saying bounce or not, and still, 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 I wanna, I wanna give the chance for the bulls to do one more bounce. I mean, it really doesn't make sense, honestly, with Nasdaq doing this. Look at Nasdaq. Wow. Flying to the moon, Joe Biden, the best president in the world. Just kidding, just kidding. Uh, Dixie is also uh, just getting rejected at one of our boxes of peace and prosperity or death and despair. And uh, well, below the box is good, above the box is bad. Uh, I think we need to adjust some of the boxes here. We haven't revisited our, we have not revisited our, um, Dixie analysis in some time. Oh, and then we got the other, the other doggy here too, the big doggy. Uh, so we got not only the golden doodle, but a little six-month-old Dutch Shepherd uh, Malinu is a super dog. Super dog! Yay! Anyways, um, 
So Dixie, honestly, Bitcoin has not been playing well with uh, NASDAQ or Dixie. So I think that's kind of irrelevant at the mo moment, but something to keep an eye on in the background. TLT. TLT, the bond market, uh, looks like it wants to put in a bit of a bounce there. Inflation did come out lower. Was it lower than expected? No, it was higher than expected, but still lower than I think the previous months. Checking in on this one, uh, one of the darlings of the market here, um, Mr. AXL, giving us an opportunity. If, you know, remember Fibonacci's, uh, the bull case is if we bounce off the 382 on a bearish retracement, uh, we don't want to lose the 0.5, definitely don't want to lose the 618 um, for this one. And again, kind of wrapping up my thoughts on Bitcoin. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's okay. Uh, <clears throat> bullish engulfing candle on the four hour if we close anywhere here or higher. And that would look like short term bounce uh, back up to the upside here, maybe around 43.3, something like that. If we do take out this wick here on the four hour at 43,000, that would goose the odds in the favor of the bulls as well. Um, Let's see if momentum is flipping around here. So if volatility begins to decline here on the four hour, that'll be another indicator. We're going to get a bit of a bounce. Um, and the hourly time frame. You want to take this guy for me, please? Thank you. Oh, sweating bullets here. Sweating bullets here. Um, Seeing if Ethereum uh, is going to play out the death cross on the hourly time frame. Just a massive, massive couple of green candles here. What was this move here on the hourly? So in the past two hours, uh, we had about a three and a half percent move in the upside direction. It is roughly 11 a.m. here in California. Let's see if the CMEs give us any ideas here. CMEs, a uh, big, you know, reversal candle there. I'm going to expect at least one short term rejection there. Um, and then I do want to pull up that heat map one more time. Let's see on the hour on the hour. Everything is bouncing. Maybe we're going to get that Christmas bounce over the weekend here over the weekend for some of our favorite altcoins. Um, what else do I want to bring to our attentions here? So major liquidations up here at uh, 42.3. That's going to be the area of contention. If we can get back above 42.3, then I would be looking for uh, at least a test of the highs here coming in at 43.6. And then I wanted to duplicate that tab. Take a look at the heat map really quick. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm going to give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. And then remind myself of the higher term time frame uh, kind of analysis that we've had over the past couple of days, which I, I guess I could say I was pretty wrong yesterday. I think I was looking for a bounce yesterday, but didn't get a bounce yesterday. Didn't get a bounce this morning. We're finally getting it at 11 o'clock on Friday afternoon. The 19th, the 19th. Shh. It's a bit of a party here down at the office today. Um, so again, looking at the heat map, liquidity line up there at 44.3 and down at 38.6. So if we cannot uh, 
you know, <clears throat> grab that, uh, get above, defeat that 40, 42, three area zone that we just looked at on this chart, then likely we're going to get that downside move. Um, and just overall continuation over the weekend. What's more likely than not for Bitcoin? We trade sideways over the weekend. Um, seems like we've had a pretty volatile move uh, today. And just looking at Ethereum, there is quite a bit of liquidity, just a bit higher. Just a bit higher. Um, lots, you know, lots of liquidity up there. So um, I guess I'm all over the place today, but. Um, Gap got filled, rejected, rejected. I mean, it looks like uh, we might get some continuation. Just uh, sl the slow bleed down. Um, let's see. What else am I looking for on Mr. AXL, MNT, Shrapnel? Some of the other coins that are hanging in there tough render again i think that narrative could play out for the apple pro um, or the apple vision pro which is going to be revealed on february 2nd so we still got a couple weeks ahead of that one checking in on DSO, uh giving up the gains from the past couple of days here uh and then injective also giving up the ghost here one more time one more time And Prisma finally bouncing off the lows. This is this is okay. And I, I got absolutely uh, tossed on this one as well. Listed on Coinbase. This was the listing on Coinbase. Um, it literally just went straight down, straight down. Still like this one, a real world asset type provider. Um, they are the dash cam google earth narrative uh you drive around through your dash cam you get paid in honey coins and um you know that's something that i i'm, I'm willing to take a risk on um so something to keep your eyes upon here if we do break this trend to the upside uh you know could could start to lift off but again these type of coins very very low market cap Orca coin. Orca got absolutely wrecked after uh, giving up quite a bit of its gains here. <clears throat> Looks like a rejection there on Orca. How's our doggy coins doing? Doggy. Doggy to the downside. And you got weekly momentum down and uh, room. Weekly momentum and down. And uh, I would say the next big flip is going to be when these guys uh, do injective, looks like it's finally finally gonna give some up as well. One of the strongest coins out there. Went on to test down to uh, about 20 bucks on injective. Um, somewhere right in the middle of this candle, somewhere around here, about 25 to 20 bucks. Uh, mana holding it up, real world. <laughs> Mana, Metaverse Coins uh, still has not really taken off. I mean, if you remember this one in the last bull market, it absolutely flew to the moon. Um, Sui is um, giving up some of its gains. I would expect Sui. Oh, it did hit the target from yesterday that I was looking at. And I think I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Uh, let me know if you want me to do any coins in the chat. And... Um, Render is just trucking on, trucking on onwards and upwards. All right, guys, I hope you have a good one. Happy uh, weekend. Happy Friday. Have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. And I will see you on Monday and just end it with this. Uh, the critical area for Bitcoin to hold is going to be that $40,000. So as long as this area holds 40000 bucks, 40200 on the daily time frame uh, specifically, are we making a lower low, a lower closing low? Not yet, not yet. So still, still chance to uh, maintain the daily uptrend. And um, with that said, take care.